How did I feel about her after the date? Three, two, one. What's up? <laughs> how you doing, sweetheart? Good. Yeah, right. I felt awesome. We had a great thing worked out. It was going smoothly, but it was more of a thing where like, yes, I can go clean his house. Sorry, one second, guys. I gotta take off my fucking Louis Vuitton backpack. All right, guys, you know me from the Dating Blind Show. My name is Will Coleman. And today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna go over some of y'all's comments, react to them, see how they are. I think it'll be pretty really fun, so let's get into it. All right, so our first comment is from Martin Trulio, 7164. It reads, she's mad annoying. Bro, I agree with you utterly. It, she was very trying on my my spirit i'd say the next comment we have here is from cassie silverman this man is so toxic i agree with you ma'am i agree but look a healthy relationship always has to have something toxic think about what girls watch in their pastime they watch dramas keeping up with the kardashians jeffrey dahmer it's all about drama so if you want to keep your girl and retain your girl you gotta have some drama in there to add some spice to it, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, this comment is from rm-gq5jv. An absolute shit username if you ask me, but it says, this dude is definitely into red pill shit. I don't know, I hate the keyword red pill shit. It's just basically a man that knows what he's doing and can handle his woman, basically. So, it sounds like you get no bitches. We have another comment, it's from Carlos. Jose, 2855. Man was mad funny, Lamal. Hell yeah, bro. I appreciate it, Jose. Mi Kumpa. Yes, sir. This is going to be a longer comment. It's from Anna Du Bison, 6602. It's not weird that he doesn't want to have female friends unless it's his girlfriend. I legit be fine with that. Anna, you got your, your head screwed on right. That's for sure. You got a great point right there. My woman will never have other male friends unless... They want to be walking out the house with two black eyes and broken ankle and a dislocated femur. Absolutely not. I agree with you, ma'am. You got your head screwed on right. Okay, we got another comment. It's from JSUT94. Bro is a walking gas lamp. The way he thinks he's intelligent. <laughs> the fact that it took me so long to read intelligent, you might have a point, but reading stuff was never my strong point. I'm more of an into digging dirt and, you know, shooting levels. But, um... And makes wild statements it's so annoying bro i am just a super annoying individual i guess you'd say it's part of my charm the next one is from the citizen joan she reads he's pretty cute but i don't like southern accents or guns so well you might have to go find you a pussy then because i love guns and i guess i got kind of an accent the next one's from logan morris 9660 y'all saying the guy is weird is crazy to me he's just the average old boy you'll find around here. Damn right, Logan. That's a fact, Jack. We don't like our women being promiscuous. We like our trucks laid back. 26 is on that thing. It don't matter, so. The next one is from C Musso Sneakers 1773 LOL, dude got some issues. Hey, don't we all? But I think my issues maybe are way better than yours, sir, because your profile, it seems that you might be homosexual, so I don't know what you got going on, but hey, no hate to the homosexuals. Love you guys too, man. The next comment is from user rm9nb5ng9h. That was a fucking mouthful, but what an asshole. <laughs> He's so sexist. Absolutely. I am a super sexist individual. I wear my heart on my sleeve, so if you got a problem with that, Shit, I'll send you my address. We'll figure it out like men. All right, we got another comment here. It's from AB and a bunch of numbers. I ain't gonna read all them. This dude is a walking red flag. Won't let his woman have any guy friends or talk to any guys. Auto red flag. You're incapable of trusting someone and you're gonna try to control them, micromanage their life, puke. Well, buddy, it looks like you like to sit in the corner on a chair and watch someone bang your wife. So. You do you. If that's what you're into, bro, good for you. All right, the next comment is from Madison Corny. He should go date his mom at this point. Yo, I'm not into incest. I have done some crazy shit, but I'm definitely not an incest fellow. The fact that that came to your mind, you might need to get taken a look at. This comment is from Call Med 7171 Took him less than 10 minutes to expose himself as a, that's a big ass word. Chavistic prick, LOL. 
Call Med, um, fuck you, you're a pussy. Um, stop using big words around me, I don't know what they mean. The next comment is from Jonathan Hernandez, 5987. No one's going to say how his drawing is a penis. Bro, I thought it was obvious. That's what I'm saying. I thought everybody was going to get that, but. So we would like to go through some of your DMs and messages. Of oh, you want me to get my phone out? Yes. It's okay, sorry. It's in my fucking Louis Vuitton bag. Let me just get this out real quick. These zippers are super nice on these nice bags. Ah, here we go. Okay, DMs. Can I introduce myself? Um, I don't think I respond to this female, but I will get back to you in about seven days. Wish I could suck on that cock of yours. Damn. Hey, play your cards, might you might get a chance. Handsome guy, any chance you have an OnlyFans page? Not yet, but I don't know, we'll see. I'll be a good wife, I swear. You know what, I might hit this girl back. Three days. Hi, I think you're so handsome. Anyways, have a great day. You have a great day too. What if I told you I was in love with you? I get that a lot, but thank you. Okay, this one's a bit, bit off the wall, it says, Hey, I just wanted to see if you sold any content. I know you're fine ass, sell some. You too good looking. No, I don't sell any content. Unless you're looking for feet pics, I got them racked up. That's all we'll read for today. Let me put this back in my Louis Vuitton bag. How did it go after the date? How did I feel about her after the date? I felt awesome. We had a great thing worked out. It was going smoothly, but she started to catch feelings and I just wasn't there for that, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't I couldn't break this girl's heart too bad. I would just feel like a bad person and that's just the way it went. Was I attracted to her physically? Fuck no, absolutely not. And I mean that in the nicest way. Normally, obviously I have a lot of fucking Louis Vuitton. So I go for a higher echelon of women. Normally ones that don't have 14 bodies at 18. That is absolutely disgusting, despicable. You're a pagan in my eyes if you have that many. It was more of a business exchange, I would say, because I, in a way, employed her to come, you know, just tidy up around the house. There were some dirty dishes that were stinking up the house. Obviously, I'm not going to do the dishes because I'm a male. She came. She was excellent for the couple weeks it lasted for, but all good things must come to an end. But if anyone else needs a, needs a job cleaner or anything, I pay very well. Hit me in the DMs and we can work something out. You employed her to start working for you cleaning your house. It was more of a thing where like, yes, I can go clean this house. I was like, whatever, if you want to pick it up, shit, go right on ahead. I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Who's going to turn a free down, free labor? Usually I have to go all the way to China for that. That ain't no good. So it's a mixture of everything, being broke, wanting to hang out with me, and just needing a purpose in life, I feel like, is one of the biggest things that girls are looking for. So if I have something in my room that needs to be cleaned, who else better to do it than a female? Like. There ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's just simple math. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, go check out the Dan Blading trope. <laughs> I have autism. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate your comments as always. Keep them coming. I know there's going to be quite a few colorful ones under this one, but it's all good fun. So don't get too offended. But if you want to check out any of my socials, you can just find my Instagram at William underscore Coleman 567. So if you want to send some more of those DMs, go right ahead. I'll feed through them and see which ones I want to respond to.